Good evening from Yummy B TV. Wishing you all well, sending loads of love as usual. We get back round to the most legendary hitman of all time, Victor Castigator. Some good questions coming in, so Uncle Yummy will do his best to deliver the ones I believe he would have done a hit on and the ones that I definitely know he wouldn't dream of. So Victor was one of those men. He always needed a general. Every prison he went to in the Cat A's, there was always a major figure uh, that he looked up to. When he walked through the gates, we've talked about this before, you know, when he arrives, uh, you know, the big ones will be waiting for him. And he, he was a great cook as well. Good, good bloke as well, Victor. Never really troubled anyone unless you troubled him. But, you know, for a bit of work, as we call it, you know, where he used to like a little smoke and things. And I believe, a bit like me, with a little percentage, people pleasing the people that he respects the most. Now, the one thing that's definite, the one person that he loved beyond belief was Andy Shack. Every other sentence that used to come out of his mouth was Andy Shack, right? So we know for definite that he would never ever dream of if someone put a hit out on Andy Shack, uh, he wouldn't take it. Now, John Gray, Tony Argent, another two that he wouldn't, right? And it's interesting to see that some of these names I mentioned in this video, some would put hits out on men, but some of those guys, they don't believe in doing things like that. They would just go and do it themselves, if you get what I mean. But if you're having a good time somewhere where you are and you don't want to get your hands dirty and everybody's together and, you know, and it's working out well, then you might send for a hitman to get the job done. That's how it can work, if you get what I mean. But, yeah, them three, Paul Massey, right? Because I know that there was a hit out. And I'm going to tell you about a hit on Paul Massey in one of my next videos, right? With a hit did nearly take place or uh, someone run up on him. But I can remember uh, Victor being handed that bit of work and turning it down as well. As well as Frank Burley. He would never ever, he always used to say hello to Frank as well. Uh, he had that kind of respect for Frank. So again, it's who he looks up to, Victor. Uh, but there's many, many men that I could honestly tell you that I believe. Because if you're on different sides of Liverpool, Manchester, Leeds, Birmingham, whatever, if he favours you, like, just saying, I believe that with all my knowledge and experience about these recent names that are coming through the Cat A system and possibly might even be going through the Cat A system. Remember, rest in peace now, Victor, who died in Long Larton from natural causes. But I honestly believe that, given a chance, he would have run up on Mark Fellows, 100%. So again, it depends on sides and who he favours. I also believe that he would definitely take the hit out on Cashman, right? Uncle Yami knows that through the Merseyside links and that kind of stuff. I'll tell you another name that used to come out of his mouth a lot. Sam Cole as well. He always used to look up to Sam as well. We always wanted to please Sam. Sam used to look after him, of course. That was, not, that was another thing as well. But he wouldn't dream of running up on Sam. You know what I mean? Victor, Victor used to make me laugh. Would you have done it? Because I know for definite that they gave him a hit to do on me. Right, I know that 100%. And that's why I used to come out every morning. John, everybody was there at that time. And I used to have my eye on him. Remember, I made a move on him and got twisted up. And he could have done me, man. He could have done me. Uh, but like I said to you before, uh, I had a funny feeling. He had a soft spot for me, if you get what I mean, which was a, which was a strange event. But I, there was another time I, I went somewhere else uh, and he was calling me over, come and try and get over here. And I was thinking, oh, no, 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 no. He's going to do it on me. You know what I mean? So, yeah, no, he didn't do it on me, but I believe that he was given the job to do on me. Uh, but I don't think he wanted to do it. If you get what I mean, I think he changed his mind halfway through. If you want the God's honest truth. Now, other names as well. Warren Slaney. Like, he always used to respect Warren. Remember, these guys lived together for years and years and years. So Victor would have seen the calibre of these guys. You know that he's not... Victor, Victor is like... Well, how can I put it? Obviously, not like me. I'm not on that. I was never on that level. Uh, but Victor, like I said already, he needed a captain of the ship. 
You know what I mean? He liked taking orders, uh, and when he he was when he's given the job, the job is done properly. Trust me, there's no way back from it, right? And thanks for reminding me the other day about Asian Filipinos, because I was looking at Indian and Pakistani and all you know that that side of the world if you get what i mean but of course there's a lot of asian countries as well and in reality there's no man that i ever met then from asia uh, which i'm going to do my my top 10 or 15 or whatever very very soon but n n no one could come close uh, to victor castigada if you get what i mean so there are many figures that i believe that he would have run up on depending on which sides but i also know uh, that he knew his limits, if you get what I mean. So he wasn't that silly, was he? Because he always stayed in safe, safe hands. But if he loved you uh, and respected you, like some of the names that I've called just, just, just then, uh, and there's more, obviously, but I'll give you a rough idea, just giving you a rough idea, depending on who side he's on, Whoever you turn up, he don't care who he was. He would have run up on you. So that's my first video today. Just about to travel. And hopefully I'll get an interview done today. If not tomorrow, if you get what I mean. Send it loads of love. And also, I'm going to do my hardest part two. I couldn't finish it. It was a long video. You lot are mentioning names that I haven't seen fight. You lot were talking about fights outside in the ring and that kind of stuff. I'm only talking about the men that I saw behind the door have a row like i said already and we'll get round to explaining uh the other stuff where everybody you know we can all do a big talk on who we think was the greatest of all time uh without me having seen them fight if you get what i mean but um, that's coming up soon and more surprises and uncle yami won't be sitting on the fence again well half sitting on the fence without being offensive uh but i will be giving it to you straight why i still say on certain people my feelings that I believed in my heart of hearts, you could really come unstuck there, if you get what I mean. So I'll be up in a little bit more, a little bit more, sending loads of love. Have a great Saturday evening.